All right, what's going on everyone? Today I wanted to talk about why I believe Tezos will explode. In my last video, I talked about Harmony One, and if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that. A lot of you guys really appreciated that video. So Harmony is great, and I definitely believe that that one is going to explode, but I also believe that Tezos will explode. And I wanted to talk about that in this video. So I wanted to first start with talking about the fundamentals, and then we're gonna be talking about some statistics towards the end and also a price prediction, so stay tuned for that. As promised, I mentioned that I was going to be getting my DSLR set up and putting in some nice lighting. So I hope you guys appreciate it by liking this video and also subscribing for more content like this. So let's just get into this. So Tezos is a public open source self-amending smart contract protocol based on a liquid proof of stake consensus model and allowing for digital asset transactions and smart contracts execution. The network officially went live in 2018, known as the Genesis block. The network was upgraded seven times since then and is currently on the Granada block. And the native currency on Tezos blockchain is the Tez. Tezos was founded by Arthur and Kathleen Bretman and the money raised in the ICO initial coin offering provided to the Tezos foundation that is overseen by a committee slash board with a variety of crypto industry experts. The Tezos Foundation currently manages over 1.2 billion, which is used for grants, awareness, development, and marketing. So why? Why Tezos? Secure smart contracts, the process of formal verification based on Michelin's programming language provides the mathematical proof of the correctness of the contract that can be verified automatically. It is the golden standard of trustless guaranteed in the blockchain system. So when it comes to participative governance, Tez holders can express their opinion by delegating their Tez to a baker that shares the same view on a given subject. And bakers can essentially submit and vote on different things. And it is a proven upgradable network without forks. Tezos formerly on-chain government's model has already allowed for seven Yes, seven smooth, successful upgrades of the Tezos protocol and lets Tezos stay on top of innovation. And the Granada was the most recent. So let's talk about energy. It's energy efficient and low gas fees. Tezos has been quoted at being 8,000 X less expensive and more energy efficient than its peer Ethereum. Proof of stake requires significantly less energy than proof of work which is part of the reason Ethereum is upgrading to Ethereum 2.0. Proof of stake in deflationary economics. At each block, 80 on new Tezos are created and distributed to the new bakers and then to a respective delegators. Currently, you can earn between 5 to 6% in rewards by staking your Tezos. You can also stake with a centralized custodian such as Coinbase, but as the saying goes, not your keys, not your coins. And they also take a hefty fee, leaving you closer to 4% in returns. The big misconception with the proof of stake concept is that many people confuse Tezos with being inflationary. They think percent terms, when in reality, the percent will decrease over time because it is based on the amount of Tezos created at each block, which over time is divided by a larger total supply, i.e. Tezos is deflationary. So as many of you are already aware, Ethereum is attempting to switch to proof of stake with Ethereum 2.0. So it's a really similar concept, but extremely hard to implement without having to fork the network. All right, so what about Solana, Dot, and Cardano? These platforms do share, according to their white papers, some similar characteristics to Tezos. One thing that makes them really stand out in the broader market is the incredible amount of marketing that each network and their teams have done. However, as many of you know, the hype created around coins often outweighs the actual fundamental value. Until the platform can actually prove out the concept and execute, marketing, roadmaps, and hype only end up working for so long unless there is actual adoption of the network. At some point, these platforms will either succeed or fall hard on their face. So over the past three years, Tezos has taken a different approach and instead focused on building out a strong ecosystem that has tangible widespread use. The Tezos strategy of choosing to build out a network first and marketing second has been a point of contention within the Tezos community. The contention being the lack of marketing, which many people attribute to the slow price movement and just the price evaluation. But the reality is, is that Tezos is fully functional while most smart contract platforms only just have a white paper and just, you know, a roadmap of ideas. So let's talk about non-fungible tokens and Tezos. This is a new kind of thing. So Ethereum is currently the biggest NFT blockchain by far. However, as ETH still 
while has problems, more and more people are looking for other blockchains to mint and collect their NFTs. That has contributed to the rise of different marketplaces on Tezos. And there's so many different marketplaces being built currently on Tezos. For example, Red Bull is launching NFTs on Tezos soon. And another example is McLaren building a NFT platform on Tezos. Ubisoft, the gaming platform, is also planning to launch NFTs soon on Tezos for their games. So there's so many other examples. Another one is that OpenSea, the world's biggest NFT marketplace, will soon integrate support for Tezos token standards and Tezos NFTs. So like I said earlier, sometimes the hype is almost more important than the fundamentals of a coin. So let's go over that by looking at the r slash Tezos stats. Okay, we can do this by looking at the subscriber stats and the subreddit stats. This is pretty important when talking about a specific coin and honestly is make or break for a lot of different coins. So let's talk about the overall growth that we've seen with the r slash Tezos subreddit. Let's get into this. So as we can see here, since pretty much the start, right? We have from 2017 until now, you can just see this crazy increase that's come pretty much every single year. We've just had a slow and steady growth up until around December, 2020. That was the start of pretty much the biggest growth that the subreddit has seen starting from around 32, 31,000 to where it is today at just up above 58,000, quite interesting. Here you can also see that the subscriber rank lower is better. As you can see, it's been getting much and much lower. And the comments per day has also been increasing. So you can just see here that the subreddit has increased exponentially in terms of followers, subscribers, comments, and just engagement. So more and more people are getting interested into Tezos and for the right reasons. Let's look at, for example, McLaren's website. This is McLaren.com. You can see here that they've they've written, they've talked about Tezos and you know using it as an NFT platform right here. Your guide to NFTs powered by Tezos. So this is why I feel like Tezos is just still super underrated. The logo is being posted to McLaren's and the subreddit only has 50,000 subscribers. As it is growing, it only has 50,000 subscribers. And then we can also look at Red Bull Racing. Tezos joins the charge as official blockchain partner. This is for Red Bull, for F1. Okay, this is a big, big sponsorship deal. So if we head over to CoinMarketCap just to see where it is at in terms of market cap, by the way, I also work for CoinMarketCap now. I don't know, maybe some of you guys have seen their YouTube channel, but I work for the YouTube channel and it's been a blast, it's been a fun time. So anyways, let's look into this. So if we go down, right, into the around, I believe it is still into the 30 spot. Yeah, 31st spot. Tezos is only in the 31st spot, having a fully functional smart contract platform. I still can't believe that it's still only in this spot with a market cap of only five billion. The price of the coin right now as of recording is $5.83 with a market cap of 1.8 trillion. So you can see in the past three months, we've had a bit of a rally actually for Tezos. And why is that? Well, a lot of people are starting to wake up to Tezos because Tezos is a sleeping giant. And right now we had this insane rally actually it went up to around $8 here back in, in September, mid-September. Previous all-time high prices have been around and above the $8 mark. Let's look at the coin perspective of Tezos and what it would be like, for example, if it had the same uh, market cap as Bitcoin or above. So if it did have that same uh, market cap as of Bitcoin, then it would be worth a total of $910. That would be for over 700 billion as a market cap. Now, if we wanted to look at, for example, if it was in the 20th spot, then it would put it up to a price of nine dollars and it's already shown that it's been at prices and it's held prices in the eight dollar range it could easily go over that since it's already hit prices at eight dollars and it's already hit that market cap before right now my price target is around the fifteen dollar mark which would put it at the same you know around the same market cap as for example terra luna which would put it at 13.7 billion let me know your price prediction down in the comment section below i'm quite curious what what you guys think of tezos i feel like it's a sleeping giant Giant, similar to Harmony One, which I'm extremely bullish on. I'm also extremely bullish on Tezos and for the reasons that I provided earlier. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys soon. This has been yours truly, Minted Max. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, all of that. See you guys later.